Good evening everybody, welcome back to the channel, my name is Luke and it's time for the first episode of series 4 of Benidorm after the Christmas special which was quite frankly heartbreaking, I mean, not even going to lie, that episode absolutely was just so sad, you know, the ending, getting the phone call that Mel died, because the actor, you know, actually died, Jeffrey Hutchings died in real life, so you had to write him out. That's not how the Christmas special was supposed to go. That's what not how it was written. Yeah, uh, it was sad and it got to me. So, yeah, it's going to change now. Mel's not going to be there. Um, also, Jeff's not going to be there, or Chantel, because they got together at the end of season three and they've moved in together. So it's going to be interesting to see if there's been any changes, if there's been... Any new characters brought in? Definitely looking forward to that. There's been some good characters brought in, like side characters, one episode characters, or characters that are just there for that season. Like uh, the woman who conned Martin and hooked up with that other guy to rob the hotel. She was good, you know. Got a name. But the woman who plays her, she's, she's a good actress. Anyway... Let's just get into this. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, then, uh, yeah, check out the Patreon. There's all sorts of content on there. It's really, really good. Like, cheapest Patreon that you're going to get in the reaction community where you get access to actual content. You get content in the $1 a month tier, and that's the cheapest that Patreon allows you to price a tier. So, yeah, no one's doing their Patreon better than me in terms of value for money. Like, you're not going to get better value for money from any other reactor. So... That's at least one area that I'm beating them all in. And also, shout out to the people who are making uh, that short video that I uploaded a few days ago blow up. Uh, the one with the bike, the guy, the bikers going into the gate. 71,000 views. It's my vo most viewed video by a factor of like... Like the most viewed video had not even got 30,000 views. It's absolutely mental. 120... 3,000 views in the last 28 days. I only got 150 odd thousand in the whole of 2023. Like, it's absolutely fucking mental. I'll show you here, look. Yeah, Eminem not afraid. 16,000, it's not even nearly 30. I thought it was ne Yeah, just, just crazy. Absolutely crazy. So, yeah, shout out to all the people that are watching it, liking it, commenting on it, and keeping it in the algorithm. Absolutely crazy. I think you can. Def it's more than that now. It's not sixty-three thousand. That's a lot of bollocks. That seventy-four. Po there you go. Seventy-four point eight thousand. I think you can class that as semi-viral. It's got me fifty thousand, uh, fifty subscribers as well. Yeah, just amazing. Keep it going. Shout out to everybody who's watching it. You're all fucking legends, and I love you. Anyway, let's go. Nope. Nope. <laughs> no. Nope. Oh, for crying out loud. Michael, go back to the desk and ask them which car it is. He doesn't have to go back. One of these numbers is definitely a six. All the number plates have got six in them. No, they haven't. Six. Six. Do you think this little light should be coming on when I press it? Come on! We're wasting time, we've been here too long. Hey, calm down you, where do you think you are? The crystal maze? Yeah. Push that trolley for your mother, she's Ooh, getting a sweat on. You push the trolley. He's got a bit of an attitude. I'm doing this. Mind Just you, give me the... We do, don't they? We boys, as soon as, as soon as puberty hits, the attitude comes with it. It's like kind of a package deal. Puberty and attitude, you get two for the same... Two for the price of one. Key or not good, boy? Give him the key. There's no point giving him the key because you can't read all the numbers on it. I know I you can't read all the numbers, but they might know which one it is. No. And while he's there, he can pick up the contract that you left on the desk. I, I never left it on the desk. She didn't give it me in the first place. She did give it yet, and you put it on the desk. Well, if you saw me put it on the desk, why didn't you pick it up? Just give him the key. <laughs> oh, it's the polo. We weren't even in the right bloody row. Hey, chill out. We're on holiday. <laughs> oh, wow. That's pretty cool. See? 
you doing? Well on! Come on! Yes! Yeah. Come on! What's he doing? Choking mainly. Yes! 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 What? What's the goal here? What's this guy trying to achieve? That's a bit like watching one of them rats that can't get out of a maze but keeps trying. Oh, yeah. A very nice thing to say. Rats are intelligent. <laughs> it's a bit like that film, isn't it? What? When Harry met Sally? No, Forrest Gump. Oh, oh, sorry! Excuse me! Can I have my ball back? Wow, I said in the intro, I'm, intro I'm looking forward to seeing if they've brought any new characters in. First scene back at the Solana, three new characters already. <laughs> Can you pass me my ball, please? We ain't got your ball. I wasn't really talking to you. You what? Excuse me. Excuse me. Nah, Forrest wants a word. <laughs> Aya, I was wondering Aya. if you could pass me my ball, please. I can't hear you. I'll get out. Huh? Yeah. Ah. Room for a room. <laughs> Hiya. Oh, I couldn't hear what you were saying. I was just wondering if you could pass me my beach ball. Oh, I see. But it's all right, I've got it now. Have you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah see ya. Oh, right, is oh, that... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, is that the ball? Oh, right, I thought... It... Oh, right, thanks for clearing that up. I'm Liam. Liam? Hello, Liam. I'm Natalie. Oh, that's a beautiful name. <laughs> <laughs> this is Sam. Oh, we used to have a dog called Sam. My mum got rid of it because it used to chew its bum. <laughs> <laughs> you here on your own, Liam? No. Be a bit sad if I was here on my own. I'm with my dad. Oh, you do uh, surprise me. He's over here working. Got me a cheap holiday. Thought I'd catch a few rays. Nice. Get a nice hand to show off to the lads back home. Did ask if some of them wanted to come, but they all seemed to be a bit busy. Hmm, funny that, uh, isn't it? Well, I say all of them. My cousin Kendall wanted to come, but he's a bit skint at the moment because he's paying off a moped, what he bought on the internet by mistake. Plus, <laughs> plus he's been having a lot of asthma attacks. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody asked. Recently, Liam, Liam, Liam. <laughs> Shh. Well, I see you's around. Yeah, look after your ball. <laughs> see ya. What? He's cute in a funny sort of way. Lord have mercy. <laughs> I mean, I guess it. Oh, he's back. Gavin's. I really like Gavin. He's funny. Mm. That's some trouble with buffets. They're very Moorish, aren't they? This is an absolute outrage. That's true. Oh, there must be something you can eat. Have a slice of toast, no butter. I can't have toast. It's a carbohydrate. You had toast at work the other morning. Yes, hello. That was wholemeal bread. It's still carbohydrate, isn't it? Low-fat options for all meals, plus fresh fruit available throughout the day. Look, it's there in black and white. Do you know, you can buy a pack of eight sausages now for 16 pence. That's 2p each. Ugh. Makes you wonder what's in them, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, Excuse I, I remember one time when I was shopping with my mum and my nan, my grandma, and, uh, you know, I would get a few bits myself, and I fancied some sausages, just to, you know, just some extra to have with, like, beans on toast or a bacon sandwich or whatever. And I saw a bag of sausages in the freezer section. They were proper cheap. It was, like, 20 sausages for, like, a pound or... Something, or it might have been less than that. It might have been seventy nine p. And they warned me, you know, you don't want to buy them. They're that cheap for a reason. But I was like, no, no, sausages are sausages. You know, how bad can they be? And the first time I cooked them, they were absolutely. They just fucking disintegrated as soon as I took them out of the pan. They were disgusting. Like, oh, you could tell they'd just been made out of literally the last pieces of shit on the butcher's floor after he'd taken all the good cuts of meat out. Yeah, they were absolutely disgusting. So when you're buying sausages, just try and make sausages the one one of the few items that you do spend a bit extra on.
Because the cheap ones are cheap for a reason. Like, just, oh. Excuse me, you don't seem to have any brown bread. Yeah, no. Well, why not? Because nobody eats it. Well, how can I eat it if you don't have any? I can't argue with that. Excuse me, excuse me. Yeah? Where is the fruit? Fruit? Yes, eccentric, colourful food. It grows on trees. <laughs> we don't give you pudding at breakfast. I'm not pudding. being funny, but if there's not enough on that table to feed you in the morning, you must have worms. It says fresh fruit at all times. Some of the best breakfasts are fruit based. There you go, got you a yogurt. Toffee and banana. Perfect. Just eat the banana bit. <laughs> Step inside. I like him already. See, he's not mourning, he's just getting on with it and having a proper breakfast. I'd love. Let me find you a place. I remember him being in summer. What was it? I think it were a film I saw him in a summer. I know his name. It's Tony, isn't it? He were, he, he, he were actually up the road from me. I think it was last summer. You were in Haworth. You went to the pub there. Yeah. Where the cares of the day will be carried away by the smile on your face. We are together now and forever. It's not been living here on the road way. since last year. Step inside. Mind you, yeah. I suppose she's got to keep running the palace. Hello, England Revenue! <laughs> Hello! She'll be outside. You look tired, love. Let me turn down the light. Look at that view, man. I love Coming that view. That view cold, is amazing. Your head on my shoulder and love me look too. at this. Whoa, this is cool. She's redecorated. Bloody hell. This has cost a bob or two. Mind yeah, you, I suppose when he died, he would have left her. Pretty much everything he had. So, yeah. Oh, you're coming in, Dad? Yeah, in a minute. Fair enough. Hey, look at that. What's my man doing with a gold disc? Maybe it was one of Mel's. Well, it won't be for his rendition of Lonely Girl, I can tell you that. <laughs> no. Oh, no, it's... Can I help you? I said, can I help you? Why is Silla Black in Madge's house? You're Silla Black? I know. Yeah. How did you get in? It's Silver Black. <laughs> it's starstruck. Consuela! <laughs> what the f is going on? <laughs> Michael's just getting on with it. Fair enough, lad. Consuela! Um. Where's Madge? Who's Madge? Madge Harvey! It's still a black. Where's Madge? Who let these people in? Who's Madge? Señora Black, ya le dije. Tengo que tener la puerta abierta para que entre el aire mientras limpio, pero. Pero yo la cerré. Le aseguro que la cerré. No. Oh, I know what it is. Surprise, surprise! Oh, bloody hell, of course! Surprise, surprise! The unexpected slap you between the thighs! You've done her house up for surprise, surprise, haven't you? Oh, you've done a lovely job. Hey, think let's she hope has. your mother ain't got any long lost relatives in Australia. We'll never get a look at in that pool. <laughs> You're coming in now, it's beautiful. I, uh... Look, if all you people have not left my house within the next 30 seconds, Oh, no. She's moved house because it reminds her of Mel, doesn't it? Bollocks. I'm going to call the police. Consuela! Your house? Oh, my God. She's moved and forgot to tell us. Is everything OK? What Mick? the fuck are you Janice? doing here? What are you doing here? Do you know these people, Donald? Yes, Janice's mother and her husband, Mel and Madge Harvey, were the previous owners of this house. Right, how does that thing know Scylla Black? 
Uh, we called by on Madge, too, to see how she was coping on her own. But we met Scylla and ended up, um, staying for a cocktail. What? Are you coming back? I can't hold this position much longer. We best be off. Mike, I'll get out of that pool. We're really sorry to have bothered you. <laughs> Come on! It's not your nana's ex. Oh! Oh, sorry, Jacqueline. Here, let me help you with that. <laughs> really? Yes, that fits nicely. Very kind of you. Well, you're very welcome. Yeah, oh. You love just... You can't beat it, can you, Donald? Tadging free stuff off a fork. It's what you two live for. That stuff was in the wardrobe back there when I got it. So oh, so you're just taking yourself. a dead man's clothes. Look, so, just about sums I'm just him up. about to go for a jacuzzi outside. Now, I don't know what your plans are, but you're very welcome <coughs> to join me. I'm afraid we haven't got anything appropriate to wear. Oh, not a problem. I don't usually bother with a swimsuit myself. And you both seem very broad-minded. Absolutely. Oh, yes. <laughs> Consuela. Something tells me something's gonna happen tonight. Freaks. That's the only word. Why do you think she's gone? Freaks. Hold on. I can tell you on mute, man, or it's just gonna be going blip, blip. All the way through the fucking video. I don't know. I think there's maybe just been a bit of a mix-up, haven't there? Well, One hell of a mix-up. If up. my nana's moved out of her house, she's not answering a mobile, and she's not here, that's quite a big mix-up, isn't it? What's he doing yeah, with his arm? I suppose it is. Massive scar on his elbow. <laughs> that's the palace. Well... Madge sold the Benidorm Palace three months ago. Three months what? ago? She can't have done. She'd have told us. This is a right mix-up. <laughs> well, where do we go from here? Yeah. Uh, well, there's only one place they could possibly go. Hey! Come on, you can do us a better rate than that. We've stayed here before. We're regulars. Oh, for God's sake, just pay it. I need a shower right now. I smell like meat and potato pie. Well, where the flaming hell is she gone? She can't just disappear. I don't suppose hey, you remember my mother, do boy. you? We've stayed here a few times all together. No. Little woman, very tanned, about 70, How can chain you smoker, not... rides one of them mobility scooters. Do you have just described 90% of the people in Benidorm? <gasps> Aaron, my granddad bought the Benidorm Palace. Ah, then you're a Harvey. The wedding on the beach. Yeah, that's the one, Harvey, yeah. You don't know what happened to her, do you? Of course. Oh, thank God for that. They bought the Benidorm Palace. We know that. Very sad about Senor Harvey. Yeah, we know that brain of Benidorm. You know, he died. Yeah, we know that as well. Yeah, Apparently, we know Apparently, my mother well. sold the Benidorm Palace a few months ago. Do you know where she is now? Um, no. Janie, do you know what happened to the little lady in the wheelchair? She and her husband, they bought the palace. Oh, yeah, she sold it a few months ago. Yes, they know <gasps> that. Her husband passed away. Yeah, we, we know, know that as well. We just want to try and find out if you know where she is now. Yeah. Um, Tet. No. Oh. Right, come on, let's freshen up. Oh, hang on. Have you tried the El Cisne? The what? Mm. Second hand market. She had a stall there a couple of weeks ago. You could always try there. Why has Madge got a stall at a second hand market? I don't like where this is going. What's happened to her? Oh. Oh. Oh, I think I've had too much breakfast. I can't move. Oh. I think it was that fried bread that did it. <laughs> Isn't it funny? You feel like a bit of a pig when you make fried bread at home. But on holiday, you just shovel it in, don't you? Yes, you did. <laughs> Mind you, you I say I'm full, but I could always eat something sweet. You know, after a big meal. Oh, I'm yeah. the same. Seriously. I remember 
but whenever, when you know, when my grandparents used to take take us out for a nice dinner, whether it was Toby Carvery or some nice pub or whatever, it didn't matter how much I ate in the main meal. As soon as the prospect of pudding came up, it was like magic. My body just created more space. And I always used to go for the chocolate fudge cake, the hot chocolate fudge cake with the hot fudge sauce and cream. Oh, oh it was amazing. Yeah. Oh, I remember eating that. Oh, it was amazing. Or oh, the golden syrup sponge pudding custard. It was one or the other. One or the other. They were my absolute staple puddings as a kid. Hmm. I could be fit to bust. Doesn't matter if I can feel the food sitting in my neck. If someone says to me, do you want to go halves on a pineapple fritter, I'm there. <laughs> Is that Troy? Yes. Oh. oh. So he's still in the show then, technically. Isn't it funny how history repeats itself? He finds out if someone's to get in touch with him, and Troy's dad gets in touch with him. Ooh. Oh. Talking right. of things repeating, I'm regretting that third sausage. Ooh. <laughs> Everything all right? Yes, apparently his condition is stable now. Troy says Oops. he's going to stay a couple more days, and if he's improved further, you'll get a flight here. Why don't you just let me know when you want to get rid condition. of me? Nothing worse than someone outstaying the welcome. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that's better. <sighs> Fancy a lolly? <laughs> yeah? Oh, he's a miserable sod, isn't he? Oh, mark it. Oh, come on, let's go. She's not here. Why would she have a stall here? Why didn't you tell us about the Benidorm Palace? Mick, something's happened to her, I know it has. Hey, come on, don't upset yeah, yourself. You know what your mother's like? It's my fault. I shouldn't have let her stay out here on her own after Mel died. Mum, Dad, come look at this. Oh. The sale, something euro, one careful owner. Ring Madge Harvey. She's sold a scooter. Or selling it. Bloody hell, things must be bad if she's walking. Sorry to take the piss. <laughs> With Madge, that means things are serious. Oh my God. It's a different number. Why could she sell this? Bring him. Give us it here. Don't take the piss. She's living in a caravan. She's gone from living in a literal fucking palace and owning another palace to losing it all and living in a, sh and living in a shitty caravan. Oh, my God. Stay there. I've told you, I'll have the money by the end of the month. What money? Mother, are you all right? Who is this? Who do you think it is? It's Janice. Oh, no. What's going on? Why didn't you tell us you had another phone? Where are you? Oh, uh, just at the villa, you know. No, you're not. Day after day. You've been there already. Alice is very quiet. Just having a soak in the jacuzzi. Ma'am, we're in Spain. Whereabouts in Spain? Where do you think we are? We're in Benidorm. You're in Benidorm? What? Now? Yes. It was meant to be a surprise, but obviously it hasn't worked out. We've been to the villa. We know you've moved. We've been to the Benidorm Palace. We know you've sold it. Mother, are you all right? Where are you? I'm going to go with no. We've hired a car. Just tell us where you are. No. No, don't come here. Go back to the Solana. I'll see you there in half an hour. What did she say? She's meeting us at the Solana in half an hour. 
Excuse me, Mav. How much is the scooter? It's not for sale. So, if me nana is all right, does that mean you don't get the insurance money? Oh, it was a joke. What was it? There you go, love. Right, Matteo, I'll be back in ten minutes. Where are you going? We are too busy for one person. Funny you should say that. That's where I'm going to get Les. Who is Les? New barman. Oh, no. That Les? Do you not give the job to that little old guy with no hair, please? We said the best one was the young girl. No, I think you'll find it was you who said that. I know it seems strange, but I thought I'd go for the more experienced barman. With references. As opposed to a dizzy 17-year-old girl who can't add up. Oh, here he is. Add up? Why did she need to wear that? The drinks are free. Morning, Jenny. Oh, thanks for letting us come in a bit early. You know, I just thought it would be good to hit the ground running, so to speak. You must be potato. <laughs> Jenny, please. You don't understand. I can't work with this guy. He's not good for my image. <gasps> potato! No good for you. <gasps> you must be potato. <laughs> image? What do you think you are? Bono? Shall I get started? No. No. Jenny. He can work inside. Please. Come on, this is my bar. <laughs> Fucking potato. Do you have any thoughts about my idea, you know, of waiter service to people on the sunbeds during the quieter parts of the day? What? We can talk about it later. Here you go. You've told Potato about Leslie, haven't you? My name is Matteo. Oh, yeah. Les is a transvestite. I said he can come to work dressed as Leslie any time he wants. Uh -huh. Did you know? Uh -huh. Very funny. It's not a joke. Janie, please tell me this is a joke. It's no joke, but an equal opportunity to employer. How do you think you got the job? Right, sorry to keep you waiting. What can I get you? Is that Michael? What time is it? She said she'd be half an hour. Maybe I should wait in reception. She'll be here soon. Don't panic. I knew it was a bad idea, her staying on out here. God knows what's happened to her. Calm down. She obviously decided running the Benidorm Palace was too much for her, which is hardly surprising for someone whose idea of hard work is having to light her own fags. Ha! Hello again! Hola! Mm, have you two come up for air? Is this some bed free? No, no, no it's, uh, it's ours. Mm. Oh, you managed to track Madge down, did you? Well, the main thing for me is, at least we know she's still alive. Like, I was, you know, the way things were looking, Obviously, when the scooter had a number on it, so obviously it meant that she was waiting for someone to call to buy it. But yeah, I don't know what to think. Donald thought it was a bit strange he didn't know she'd moved. But I said to him, when I was 12, I went back to the wrong school by accident, you know, after the summer break. Yeah. I ended up staying there, actually. The dinners were much nicer. Yeah, uh, it's all sorted. It was just a misunderstanding. Well, well that's good. Uh, we were speaking to Duckfist Dennis and the unisex hairdressers. He said that when Mel died, Madge was left with a huge amount of debt, didn't have a penny to her name, and was living on benefits in a two-birth caravan. But I told him, that doesn't sound like the Madge Harvey we know. Wait, right, we know she is living in a caravan and that she's struggling, she's no money, but Mel... Right, a couple of days before he died, he was going to buy a fucking island. How did he have debts? What's going on? John. Oh my God. You said some of these people were rough. I didn't know you meant sleeping rough. Oh my God, it's Madge. Who's Madge? Madge, you all right? Of course I'm all right. What do you mean by that? Well, nothing. I just spent... Where's Mel? I have to say, the sight of him in this leopard skin thong is one of the few things that keeps bringing me back to this place. <laughs> he died on Christmas Day. Oh, my God. 
Mm. Gavin, your slimmer soup's getting cold. Match, I'm so sorry. That went well. You should get a job here, meet and greet. You go down a storm. Madge! We were oh. just talking oh. about you. Are you all right? You look terrible. That's rich coming from you, isn't it? Yeah. What do you mean? Oh, look at the pair of you. You're hardly the fit family. You look like you're about to explode. Donald always carries a bit of excess water in the summer, don't you? Oh, yes. Oh, carrying that amount of water, I'm surprised the pool's not empty. <laughs> Get out of my way. Maybe see you later? No, we won't. Not that we can miss you. Oh, God, Mick. Oh, ma'am. We've been worried sick about you coming here. What's been going on? Let me sit down. I'm buggered after that walk. Come on. Blimey. So, it's Matteo, not Potato. Matteo. Oh, it's a great name. It's a Spanish. This is my bar. Listen, I don't want to get stuck behind the bar, in the shade, in weather like this. And I don't want to tread on anybody's toes on my first day. So? So why don't you stay here behind the bar? I'll slip into something a bit more comfortable and just do what I do best. You are going to slip into what? Back in a few minutes. OK. Why do I think I'm going to regret this? When I got back after Mel's funeral, I tried to sort out all his affairs, but, well, it was all one big mess. I thought the Benidorm Palace was going well. It was. But Mel had made a few more investments that turned sour. I think he just got a bit too... Greedy. Ambitious. It was a credit crunch, ma'am. You can't blame yourself. Property in Dubai lost money overnight. Helicopter rides over Benidorm never really got off the ground. Mm. And just when I thought things couldn't get any worse, the racehorse Mel bought me committed suicide. What? I got rid of the Benidorm Palace, then the villa. That was just rented, thank God. I didn't lose any money, mm. but I didn't make any either. Or can we talk about this later? Why didn't you tell us we could have helped? Uh, the solicitor said to me, Madge, you've still got the sunbed shops in the UK, but I told him. Mel signed them over to Mick. I'll dig myself out of this mess. Well, he did, but that was when you had everything here. Mick could sign the shops over to you. Why is he looking worried? Can't you, Mick? Well... What would be the point of that? She lives in Spain now. I don't want the shops. Yeah, the look on his face says it all. back. I can't believe I'm hearing this. She doesn't want the shops back. Are you checking in? If not, you're going to have to pay for your coffee. Yeah, we're booking it in. No, you're not. I'm going home. Look, just calm down. Calm down? This is all your fault. Hang on a minute. Mel pissed all his money away on helicopters and suicide losses and all of a sudden it's all my fault. Are you going to pay for that coffee? Or will you just shut up about the coffee? Mrs Harvey, how are you doing? I haven't seen you for months. Bloody hell, you're looking rough. What can I get you to drink, Pat? All right, that's it. I'm off. Oh. Come on. Well done, yeah, Leslie. Right. Right. Come on, wait. Come on. Yeah. Stay in this Look, was it someone asked you? Such a shame about Mel dying on Christmas Day. It's terrible, and now she's lost everything. That's what we heard. Her husband dies, leaving her thousands in debt, while she lives on benefits in a squalid two-birth caravan. He's eating a yogurt again. saying all that, she does have a lovely figure. So, Kenneth, first How is time that even in relevant? Benidorm, how are you stupid. finding it? I think, um, beguiling's the word that springs to mind. So, let me get this right. You work with Gavin and Troy, and you've come on holiday with Gavin while Troy spends some time with his dad. That's right. But Troy didn't know he had a dad. He did. He just never really knew him. Oh, now he's dying in hospital. Oh, I don't know. They're dropping like flies, aren't they? Why does she... Why is every word out of her mouth so fucking...
like exaggerated and extended and oh, oh god you know these two how's troy's son um jamie yes jamie he's wonderful oh because you're oh, more oh, why couldn't you go oh and you know oh yes Bless his mum now, aren't you? More or less. Does that feel strange, sitting here thinking you're somebody's mother? Not really. The one thing Benidorm isn't short of is large women with receding hairlines and five o'clock shadows. You've got kids? Oh, no, we are never bothered. But they make so much mess, don't they? Very house-proud by Jacqueline. Mind you, Donald Well, must... I suppose you've got to keep it clean to keep up a... Good image for all the people you're letting it to, you know. Have dozens knocking around somewhere. Oh, no. More than the hundreds. Donald was made redundant in the late 70s. And to make ends meet, he started he contributing to a local sperm bank. Well, you can't make a living doing that. Depends how often you, you go. I'm yeah, you can. I remember... I think it was featured on Gogglebox, a documentary about a bloke who does it Professionally, he makes a couple of grand a week donating his sperm. You know, he makes his donation and then he delivers it, home delivers it to the people that want to use it. Well, at least in this documentary he did. You know, he was dropping it off in a van at people's houses. I remember because one of the people on Gogglebox made the joke, does he fucking do it in the van and then, you know... <laughs> Yeah, he, he was making a fortune, this bloke, on that do on this programme. My height, I was contributing 20 or 30 times a week. A week? What was it? I always, you know, I always thought about doing that, but what stopped me was the idea of having kids out there that I can, I can never meet them, I can't be involved in their life, I, I couldn't do that. Because I don't care how you cut it, it's still your kid. You know, it's it's your child. I, I couldn't have that. No. I mean, it's in the clause that you sign. The child can elect to meet you when he or she turns 18. But before then, no. And when it comes to kids, it's the time between zero and 18 that I'm most looking forward to if I have kids. A bit after, whatever, but no. Before, yeah, so, no. <laughs> It they used to call you. Yeah. The wanker. The one-armed bandit. And I always paid out. Straight on. Not that bad in here. Be all right once they've finished it. <laughs> Mick. <laughs> now where? Oh my God. What's wrong? Oh my God. Mother, what's wrong? What the hell? Mother, are you all right? It's gone. They've taken it. Madge? Madge, oh, we tried to ring you all morning. Oh, God, it's been mental here. Oh, you all right? Who's this? Madge, I don't want you to panic. I've got some bad news. What is it? Madge, I've been trying to ring you. They've taken your caravan. I know they've taken my caravan. Do you think I'm blind? Oh, right, yeah, well, there's all Give the stuff they took out of it. I told Reg, I said Madge is good for the rent, but he's just gone mental. Anyone more than three months in arrears and he's impounding the vans. Black Nigel and Fat Pat are in bits. Well, first they found out their daughter and Wigan's a lesbian and now they've got nowhere to live. Oh, dear. Why is that first thing even relevant? Or considerable as a bad thing? What the f... Oh. It, it's all wrong. Who's impounded the caravans? Reg the Veg, site manager. Oh, he's an absolute bastard. Pardon the French. Sorry, 
I'm lucky, Kev. Where's Michael? I've got the double plot Who's on the, the corner left of Glasgow on Newcastle Street. You must be Mick and Janice. Have you? Oh, God. Come on, ma'am, don't get upset. Come on, back to the Solana. Wow, okay. she's gone from being married to a multi-millionaire businessman, investing in property in Dubai and whatever else, living in a massive villa and owning the Benidorm Palace, to everything that she owns in the world reduced to two fucking laundry bags in the space of what? Christ. Poor Madge, man. Get Bill, to eat. I'm Bill Bill the oh, good idea. I'm starving. Not you, dickhead. Dickhead. Listen, Madge, that five euro you owe me, don't sweat about it, yeah? Let's talk about it next week. I know you've got a lot on your plate right now. Piss off. Wow. I'll say a while and move on. Hey. Hey. I need to speak to you. Make it quick. Although I heard you always do. I need you to give a message to Natalie. Forget it. She told you when we got here. What happened in the past stays in the past. She's the not past. interested in going over very old ground. Look, I just, I just want to be friends, okay? I am not trying to get back with Natalie. I have, how do you say, moved on. Right. Well, I need you right. to move on just a little bit further, about a meter to your left, before I whack you in the knackers with my boombox. Gracias. Hey, you are not going to play that here. This is not. Shove a... it. There you go, son. Oh, oh, thanks, Dad. Is that the one you fancy? Nah, oh. nice. What? That's it. <laughs> not gonna lie, makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> That's his son. That's his dad. <laughs> it's both. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. It's her mate I like. Oh, it's gonna see you. She'd eat you for breakfast and she'd you before lunch, that one. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> the other one's amazing. Her name's Natalie. You really like her? Yeah. Walk here, son. Leave us to me. Oh, Dad, don't do anything embarrassing. Don't do anything oh, at all, no. come on, son. Play the game. Play when have I game. ever done anything to embarrass you? <laughs> <laughs> that shot was perfect after that question. And him probably riding away, rolling away. Gonzo over there wanted to talk to you. I told him to shove it. Who's Gonzo? Uh, big nose. Oh, Natalie. I just want to be friends. Do you mind taking off your clothes and lying down while I give you a friendly... F he hasn't got a big nose. God, he's still fancy him. No, I don't fancy him. He just doesn't have a big nose. Anyway, the way it was leering after you, I don't think I'm the one who has to worry. I'd rather shag Benny Hill over there while his wife watched. From what I've heard, she wouldn't just want to watch. Look, <laughs> yeah. Delicious cocktails for two delicious young ladies. Oh, we didn't order any cocktails. No, you didn't. But that lovely young man over there sent you. I don't care. It's not like you can smell it. Over with his compliments. Anything else you need, you'll just let me know. Oh. That's his big. Leave it to me, son. Bringing them two free drinks in an all inclusive resort on behalf of. Right, OK. That was nice. Yeah. Sending over free drinks in an all-inclusive resort. Generous. Uh, oh, I wonder what he'll spoil us with next. Toilet paper in our room, unlimited use of the pool. <laughs> hey. Hey. Hey, I told you about this. Yeah, and I thought I told you what to do and all, didn't I? Just turn it off, Sam. No, I won't. 
Oh, what's wrong? Are you worried some of the pensioners wake up and spoil the open-air mortuary look you've been cultivating? You put your greasy digit on that machine, and you, my friend, will die. Um, she means your finger. It's against the rules. Hostia. Hostia! <laughs> Yeah. I like it. Can you turn it up a bit so I can hear it over there? Yeah, of course I can. <laughs> Where did your mum and dad go? Do you want to sit with us till they get back? They said there was going to be 20 minutes, but it was ages ago. Pull up a chair. Yeah, things have changed. Yeah, things What's your name? Come up, Michael. Michael. I'm Sam. This is Natalie. Hiya. Oh, yeah. Can you dance, Michael? Not really. Well, a bit of street stuff. Seriously? Do you want to throw some moon? <laughs> no. Oh, no. Come on, let's lighten this dump up. It's a mess. I love to see the girls in their sexy bikini. Are you sure you don't want to dance, Michael? No, I'm all right. I'm talking the girls with the fat, 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 poony, Sam, I think you're making Michael feel uncomfortable. No, okay. What the fuck is she doing? Me? Feel I told her no, no, You're no, making everybody feel like you. Oh shit! <laughs> I was just about to say before it twitched to that shot. Look at that baby! I was about to say. Michael looks like he's enjoying it a bit too much. Right here we go. Last night uh, I had a crazy dream. Excuse threesome. me, what's going on? Uh, I'm enjoying myself. It's called being on holiday. You're not enjoying yourself on holiday doesn't include flashing your tits in the face of a 10 year old, 12 year old, whatever he's supposed to be. Do you play stuff? Really? Ow! Well, unfortunately, when your holiday involves giving my 11 year old son a lap dance, it's time to stop enjoying yourself. Get off, you're hurting me! <laughs> You're lucky that that's all she did. You drown, you dirty slug. And you, turn that music off now, or else that goes in as well. Mm -hmm. Right, shall we sit down? Excuse me? Yeah? You're doing a job here, do you? <laughs> Can't you move it? <laughs> Get there. That was really weird. Bye. Well, there's certainly never a dull moment here. I wouldn't mind doing a bit of lap dancing. Well, we definitely could do with the money. Two holidays in the last six months has left us pretty broke. Well, I mean, if what you need money for is to buy yourself a Tesco meal deal, you might be all right after about a week's work. Apparently, you need a strong back. That's the key to it. Well, you pass in that department with flying colours. You've certainly had a lot of weight on your back in your time. That's true. 18 down, American slang for courage or determination. Five letters ends in U-N-K. Spunk. Spunk. Really? Oh, yes. Yep. Spunk? Mm. Yep. Oh, isn't it? Terrible. I mean, kiddies could be reading this or anybody. Right, first of all, how much do you owe on the ground rent? I don't want the caravan back. It's worth nothing. What about all the stuff inside it? There's just clothes in them bags. What about all your possessions? Possessions? What possessions? I've got nothing. Do you hear me? Nothing. All right, all right, calm down. Oh, you're loving this, aren't you? Just look at his face. What are you talking about? I'm trying to help you. Yeah. Well, it's Nobody's too late. Nobody's enjoying late. this, man. What's happened? I'll tell you what's happened. That father of yours has bled me dry. Well, hang on a minute. She doesn't mean it. She's in shock. Mick's trying to help you, ma'am. I just need a couple of days to get my thoughts together. Work out what to do next. I buried two husbands, raised seven kids. I don't need anyone's help. <sighs> right, I'm going to sort this out. Where are you going? I'm off back up to the caravan park. I'm going to have a word with this fella. Oh, he's a nasty piece of work. Yeah? Well, he hasn't met me. Fella in the caravan up from me wouldn't take his satellite dish down, so he broke his legs. See you when you get back. 
if you get back. At least on foot. Well, are you going or not? Tell you what, why don't we leave it till tomorrow, give him a chance to cool down a bit? He'll be annoyed about the money I borrowed off him and all. How much money? Never you mind how much. I've told you, I can sort this out on my own. The last thing I need is you poking your nose in. Madge? Madge? What the oh, bloody hell does he want? Got this dickhead again. Oh, Madge, thank God I found you. I take it Reg hasn't been here. What's that got to do with you? Well, I saw him earlier on and he was going absolutely mental. What do you want? This is an exclusive resort. Ah! Now piss off before I get you thrown out. No, listen, Madge, under no circumstances come back to the park, yeah? Why would you? I spoke to Reg this morning and, well, I had no idea you'd bought two grand off him. Not that it's got all to do with me, but two grand plus the money you owe me in ground rent. <whistles> ah, carumba. He asked me where you were, but I said, no, no, no way. I'm not grassing Madge up, not a chance. Yeah, well, very good. You've done your bit, now off you pop. I mean, he even offered me money, you know, to tell him where you are, but I said, no. 20 euros, but I said, no. No, sorry, Bob, no way, no how. My loyalty... Is this guy taking the piss? She cannot be bought. Oh, thanks, love. And technically, I'm out of pocket now, you know, 20 euros, but, um... You're not asking us for 20 euros, are you? Oh, my God, no, no, no. Good. I mean, it would have been easy money. You know, very easy money if I, if I had told him where you are, but I didn't. Cheers. Reg isn't in Benidorm this afternoon. He's on an anger management course in Alicante. But, look, I will do my very best to make sure that he does not know where you are. Yeah, 20 euros. Now, piss off. I, I don't want your money. All right. But if you're going to insist... Thank you very much. <laughs> right, then, I'll be off. Uh, but rest assured, as long as there is breath in my body, Reg and his boys have got no chance of finding you here. Oh, shit, they found you. What? Who's found us? I thought you said Reg was in Alicante. Well, he is, but this isn't Reg the Veg. It's much worse than that. It's his wife. Scary Mary. Oh, fuck Well, well, well. The mole has come out of a roll. Come on, boys. What does she think she is? Your husband owns a caravan park. You're not Lady Penelope. Who's this, Parker and fucking Postman Pat? Right, come on, Janice, get your mother and Michael inside. She's a black belt in Fu Young. No, 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 it's not Fu Young, what's it called? Uh, uh, Kung Fu, or is it karate? What's the one where they do wax on, wax off? Oh, Jesus, I'm with these. Uh, stay here, you. Come on, ma'am, let's go. I'm going nowhere. So? This is where you're hiding. I'm not hiding anywhere. Can we help you? I'm assuming you've got a problem, or does your face always look like... Oh. oh, fuck. Oh, I'm fucking joking then. I can't breathe. Oh, well done, Scotland. You nearly finished off an Englishman there. Nearly. Right, you can all stop laughing now. I know. Just made myself look a twat on the internet again. <sighs> I'm going nowhere. So, this is where you're hiding. I'm not hiding. Good job there's still a warranty on these. Anywhere. Can we help you? I'm assuming you've got a problem, or does your face always look like that? I've come to get something which is well overdue. Sorry, love. We don't do Botox here. <laughs> you lady owe me money. No, correction. I owe your husband money. Well, in my book, that amounts to the same thing. You're not wrong there. You certainly look like him. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, go away and wipe some tables, will you, love? Wipe some tables? 
I'll wipe your bleeding face with the back of my hand. Hey. Oh, you're a big man, aren't right. you? Right. Listen, love, it's uh, Mary and... <laughs> and you are? I'm uh, Madge's son-in-law. Listen, love, can we go somewhere else and talk? Lucky Kevy, I told me all about your little plan. No, hang on a minute. A few quiet days by the pool, eh, Madge? Before your family whisk you back to the UK, leaving all your debts in sunny Spain. Now, that's not completely true. I didn't say whisk. You snivelling little squealer. Yeah. It's nothing to do with me. Shit, Look, bag. we'll get your money. I've heard it all before. <coughs> we'll pay you by the end of the week. This isn't about money anymore. This is about reputation. Oh, yeah. And I've heard all about yours. What's that supposed to mean? Scary Mary, the Benidorm bike. I've heard you've given more rides than a donkey on Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Only you don't charge quite as much. <laughs> Listen, lady. Just because you're old and in a wheelchair, don't think that'll stop me from giving you a bloody good pasting. Oh, I'm fucking shaking. Fucking pink from teamu.com. I'll have you know I'm a black belt in karate. Oh, yes. Third Dan. Sir Dan, you look more like desperate Dan. No, she's not joking, Madge. I've seen her doing all the spinning around stuff. She can run up trees. Oh, bollocks. She couldn't run up a phone bill. <laughs> right, I've tried to be polite. Now you, sling your duch. Or what? You'll set Rene and Renato onto us. Ah! Don't make me laugh. Listen, darling, you've been told to go. So do yourself and the Chuckle Brothers a favour ah, and leave now before somebody gets hurt. <laughs> Piss off back to your pink windmill drop bags <laughs> and make sure you don't ladder your tights. <laughs> right. Fucking hell, he did his own stunts then. He's about 80 nowadays, him. This is only, what, 15 years ago? Yeah. hi -ya! Hey! To do fucking Paderbore here. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? You're 71. <laughs> Mick, do something. What do you want me to do? Oh, don't no, stop me. If you think I'm getting between your mother and Mad Mary, you've got to be joking. Scary me. Oh, shut up. <laughs> What's that? I don't know. You came up your head. Red Dutch. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh, you're bloody weirdo, I can't breathe! Oh, you, come here! What did he do, twist his belly button? <laughs> I mean, obviously they can't have him, you know, actually grab him there, but fuck it, this is the fakest fight I've ever seen in my life. Like, when uh, Tim Ealy grabbed her, after he went, come on! Like, it was literally, I've seen people go up and hook their grandma with more speed and ferocity. Christ. They also didn't have a decent stunt coordinator for this one. Why don't you come here? Ah! Oh, no, 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 no. Hey. Oh. Hi. Yeah. Right. That does it. You lady. Or history. Yeah! Nobody, nobody threatens my mother. Fucking hell, that hurts. <laughs> I can't swim. I can't swim. Get that big, ugly, eerie <clears throat> get out of my pool. Got him. That one. Oh. <laughs> What the frig am I supposed to do with it? You can stuff her and stick her on the bar for all I care. Mm -hmm. There we go. Ah! 
You're all right, Janice. Yeah, I'm all right. Where's our Michael? He's here, he's here. Right, don't yeah, worry. Calm down. Come on, let's get you sat down. <sighs> don't worry, he was as involved as anyone. <laughs> all right, Mum. You're brilliant. She's so cold. Mm. I'm sorry, Janice. This should have been my problem, not yours. We're a family, ma'am. If you've got a problem, we've all got a problem. That is something that I've sensed all, you know, yeah, that's 100%. That, that's 100. Now, come on, let's have a look at you. Oh. Bloody hell, that was close, wasn't he? <laughs> Actually, yeah, it's a good job I was here, cos that could have got out of hand. <laughs> the look on Madge's face. <laughs> right, I'll just probably get off. Yeah. I expect you've got a lot of stuff you need to talk about, you know, family stuff. Look on Michael's face. Don't suppose I could get a lift back to the caravan park, could I? Come here. Come here, you! Stop it! Stop it! Hang on, my Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I'll string him up by his balls! <laughs> It's finished. <laughs> oh no. Well, there you go, that's the end of the episode. I didn't expect a fight. That was epic. So that officially kicks off series four of Benadorm. Very uh, excited to get on with it. Yeah. Um There is, um, so there's changes, obviously. I mean, I knew there'd be one big change, obviously, that I was prepared for because it occurred before this season even started because Mel died. Um, and I knew that Jeff, Chantel, were moving in together. But, oh, also, where's Noreen? He's not here. Right, let me, let me think who's not here. So you've got... The two, well, no, you've got Gavin and someone new, but Troy's still in the picture. That's kind of still the same. And I like Tony Maudsley. And I've seen memes of his character in, ben in Benidorm. You know, I I've seen people talking about it. And I know he's, well, based on what I've seen online, he's probably the most popular and liked character in this show. I've seen as much about him as Madge and anybody else. So I'm looking forward to seeing him. Um, the Garvey's, minus Mel. The two swingers. Mateo, Leslie's back. Janie. Um, no Martin, or Kate, or any, anyone new. No Noreen. Am I missing anybody? <clears throat> That's not this season. Ah, there. Right, so they're here. They're here apart from Chantel. No Johnny. No Noreen. No. Right. Yeah, okay. Got some new characters as well. Liam. Leslie's son. <laughs> Where did that come from? Uh, <clears throat> two lasses. Including the filthy slag that gave an 11-year-old boy a lap dance. That was fucking awkward. That was an awkward scene. That made me feel a bit Tom Dick, if I'm being honest. Um, there's uh, pictures of people that are not in it yet, so I'm going to stop looking. Don't worry, I didn't see anybody. But I, I just saw one person that... 
haven't seen yet, but never mind. Um, <clears throat> yeah, okay, whatever. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens next then. Because Madge is in a load of debt. Uh, that's bad. Mind you, you know, if they'd have made it that she did just, if she managed to keep things going and making money and doing well in business or doing even better since Mel died, that takes her away from where this show belongs, which is in that shitty hotel, sat around that pool and sat in Neptunes. That's where, you know, the first two, three seasons, that's where everything happened. It was either around the pool or in Neptunes. Mind you, one of the best scenes, that, funniest scenes I've seen happened in some random restaurant with Johnny Vegas going on a date with Leslie. But you know what I mean. <clears throat> so if she's in a big fancy villa and all, owning business and, you know, making money, she's not here and the family probably won't come here either. They'd stay in the villa because it's, it's got a pool and, you know. So I understand why they have to, you know, ruin her life to bring her back down to the level she was before she met Mel. So that they end up back at the Solana and it is when the magic happens, when the cast are together. I understand why they've done that. I'm just a bit sad for her, that's all, because, you know, she was so happy with Mel. You could tell that she loved him. And... But never mind about that. I'm not bothered about that. There's nothing you can do about that particular thing because the actor actually died. It's not a choice that the writers have made. It's something that happened that was totally out of their control. Yeah, so fair enough. <clears throat> But anyway, it's the first episode of a new series, so uh, I'm just going to end this by saying I'm looking forward to seeing where this season goes, what happens, how the new characters are going to be, how they're going to fit in, and what... Just, just what happens, yeah, what... What happens? I've seen comments around on... Um, other reactions to Benadorm. I've been watching Benadorm reactions myself <clears throat> after after making my own, and one of the things that I've seen the most is people saying, "I can't wait." <clears throat> fucking choking that pot's foot to my fucking throat. Up. <clears throat> what I've seen, one of the things I've seen the most, people saying, "I can't wait until you get to season four. It's by far the best." So I'm very excited for that reason. Very, very excited about that. So, that's it. I'm going to end it there before this video gets stupid long. Hope you've all enjoyed it and thanks for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, then make sure you like the video and subscribe. Comment below if you if you think that Series 4 is the best. Um, and check out the Patreon to get access to all my content early and in the best, the best possible versions of them. And also, if you're a Patreon, you can make requests. You can, you can do more than anybody on YouTube ever can. That's what you pay for. You pay for privileges that YouTube subscribers just don't get. And it's the cheapest Patreon membership in the entire reaction community. You'll get as much content on my Patreon for $2 a month as you would on most other reactors would for $7 a month. So, definitely consider that. I'm cheaper in every respect. Like, I know one reactor who does movie reactions. I wanted him to do a movie for me. And he said, to request a private movie request, it's $125. And I charge 20 So, there you go. And I know one person whose Patreon is $130 a month. $120. Over $100 a month, anyway. And you only get to pick one movie per month. And this person can still say yes or no. <clears throat> I'm just saying. I'm not criticising those other people. Yeah, fair enough. Get that fucking bread. But at the end of the day, you're sitting on your ass and watching movies. I think it's right to charge people. I mean, $120, that's three days' wages for some people. You know what I mean? Just saying. At least I'm reasonable with my prices. I'm cheaper than anybody. I know that for a fact. 
So, please support me, because this, this YouTube channel isn't monetized. I'm not making a penny from this. You must have noticed that you've never had to skip an ad on any video on my channel in your entire time following me. So, I'm looking at changing that. I'm thinking of... Oh, wait, no, I oh, can't talk about that yet. I'm doing an announcement in the future. Yeah, shouldn't have said that. I was trying to keep, keep hold of that until I could work everything out about that. Decide how I'm going to do it. But yeah. You'll hear about that in the near future. But anyway. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I look forward to uh, seeing you all again soon. Goodbye.